I mean, we that's... can't. I can't answer that per se. We. I don't think none of us can answer it. All we can do is give our take on what we think it may be. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, okay, okay. You know, yeah. Like, I got plenty of reasons why I want to ask uh, ask this question. Like, do you guys got reasons why you want to ask this question? Well, I would want to know. Uh, no, I'm just, I'm just saying, what, do, do you got a reason why you want to ask oh, this question? Why I would ask that question? Yeah, I would, yeah. Want, I would want to ask that question because I do feel like there is a a difference in the way uh, men and women handle accountability when it comes to relationships. Yeah, no, no, I, I agree. The reason I want to ask, ask this question, and I want a legit answer, because like, like we said, we can't answer this. Right. But the reason why I want to get an answer to this is because it seems like arguments, both in a relationship and, you know, just family wise and just 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 period with the opposite sex as a man could be a whole lot easier and a whole lot shorter if accountability would be taken like i wouldn't have to run in circles when it comes to relationships when it comes to siblings or anybody that's on the opposite sex if accountability was taken so i i why, think it's, why is it so difficult for accountability to be taken i think it's sex? Well, I think it's hard for anybody to uh, face the fact that they might be the problem, but I think it's harder for women than I more. Mean, why, why is that? Though? Why do you think that? As I, I say, don't know. By, by the I late, don't know. Great, you know. You by know. the late and great Kevin said. What do you? What do you think? What do, What do you think? I'm trying to say. I, I Prince think Go, what'd you, the, what'd the you need to be right. I think that that's what it is. The need, need to be right. The need to be right. I had a situation the other day dealing with a lady friend. Right. So uh she said something that pissed me off. And so, you know, normally I'm cool, calm, calm and collect, but I was a little on 10 this day. So she said something that pissed me off. And so I snapped. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is your problem? Like, you know, why why you acting like that? This person got upset at me. Hold on one second. Uh, this person got upset at me for getting upset at them and completely tried to negate what I was upset about. So I'm like, yo, why is, why why can't you understand why I got pissed off before you talk about my reaction? My reaction, you can't tell me how to react. You need to focus on why I'm pissed off. And this person did everything in that moment to duck and dodge why I was upset. And this is a woman. So Hey, look, man. This I, is. I, I don't understand, and, and I think it was just because she didn't want to be wrong. She didn't want to be. She didn't want to be the bad guy in this situation, and I think that's what it's like in most situations. You know, at least from what I've experienced. So, what you, think, you? Well, you think women are having an issue with won't, well, being a bad guy, and something yeah. like they don't. Want yes, to be a bad guy? I can yes. agree with that. I yeah. agree with that. Why though? Know? You said what? Why though? Because nobody, it means, wants, nobody wants to yeah, be the bad guy. Yeah, essentially nobody wants to be the bad guy. But it seems like for, for whatever reason, ladies have a hard time accepting the fact that they are bad guys from what I've experienced personally. And is it uh is it uh oh, damn, what am I trying to say? Is it something that's like inherited from like I don't think it's inherited. I, I mean, just not inherited. That's the wrong word. Uh, more so like taught. I don't think it's taught either. I don't think it's taught. I think it's just like it's it is just what it is. An equation in the female complex. A, there's a reason like, for it. We don't know that reason. That's the thing. That's what we're trying to figure out. Okay, we well, not. We not gonna okay, figure it out. I'll put it this way. I, I we would have to I, legit ask. All right. Woman. You gotta. We look. I look at it from two ways, right? There's a level of responsibility that I, for me dealing with women, like where I've dealt with a pretty amount of women that I've dealt with in my life. For me dealing with women, I, I see that there's a level of responsibility that some women just don't want to take when it comes to their situations, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not, nothing against you, ladies, but there is I got uh, some. Just remind there, myself. There is some things where it's like where. Um, if you bring up a situation to them, like, well, what about this situation, right? What happened in this situation? Even if we just narrow it down to talking about maybe men's selection, right? 
you know, you bet you let's say that like you got the woman that say like, well, men ain't shit. Okay, how many dudes you been with? Let's say I've been with seven guys, right? All seven of them one shit. No, all seven of them one shit. Okay, so you pick seven ain't shit dudes. How'd you do that? <laughs> Real talk. How'd you do that, right? I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it's only two. It's only it's only one reason why you would do. It's two. Well, it's, uh, one reason I think of that you won't do that because bad taste. Take, that's or what that's one reason bad taste another reason is you won't actually look in the mirror and assess why you keep picking these guys yeah you know what i'm saying because that would involve you having to look in the mirror at yourself and say that what am i doing and saying how am i reacting and acting in circumstances to deal with these dudes you know so that i'm dealing with right that means i'm gonna have to do some self-work Okay, right. check check this out. Check this out. All right, so I think that this is so we was trying to figure out a reason, and this is purely hypothetical. You know, me just brainstorming right here on the spot. I think that men, like guys, I think that we are better at taking accountability because we have to growing up of because we're the ones that pursue women. We are the ones that get rejected. We are the ones that have to look at ourselves in order to get better so that we can be in a better light when it comes to getting chose or being selected well, all that shit by women oh sorry wait where we at so what are you trying to say it's our fault no 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 check it out women wow. don't necessarily have to do that because when they're growing up women are usually taught that they are the prize that they are the ones that have to be sought after right they don't have to deal with rejection nearly as much as men so i think that you know that kind of instills the whole, you know, it's everybody else and not me kind of mentality for some people, I for some women. But when does the accountability come in where you must look in the mirror mm -hmm. and deal with yourself? Now, well, men I, have, like men have to do it. Men yeah. have to do it all the time. Like you said, we got to do it because that's how we get better. That's how we strengthen, yeah, our, strengthen ourselves. We like, all right, I got to look in the mirror what I'm doing wrong. I got to get my wardrobe together. I got to get my money together. I got to get who I am as a man together so that I'm more appealing to the woman. When the women look at that mirror and be like, well, I got to make sure I fix these things so I stop dealing with these ancient men that I keep claiming that I'm dealing with. I think women don't realize that until the men start realize the men, women don't realize that until they like between the ages of like, I think, 25 and 30. Some of them don't ever 25 and 35. It. Well, yeah, some of them don't, of course. But I don't think women realize that until around those ages, because usually like scientifically speaking, women are hot shit from the ages of 18 to 25. You're at your hottest. For as a woman between the ages of 18, actually 16 to 25. And so once you finally realize that you ain't perfect, once you get rejected by the guy that you really like, or once you realize that your looks are starting to fade, that's when they start to take accountability you, like more you know, regularly. You, you know what's crazy about that though? What's two, up? Two, two things about that, right? Normally as an adult, your expectations of situations normally go up as the older you get. It doesn't go down. So you tend to be like, well, now I'm in a circumstance where I'm not as cute. Mm -hmm. I'm not as attractive to men no more. I'm older. And but my expectations and what I expect out of men in the situations now is so much more higher. How does that work? You got you got to explain explain that to me, man. Like uh, what right, exactly so, what exactly do you mean? So if I'm if I'm young, right? Like like when you're young, you just like all right, okay, I'm just dealing with whoever like me. They was just do. He like me. I'm gonna talk to him. We're gonna be two year relationship, three year relationship, four year relationship. Now I'm 35, 40 years old, right? Mm -hmm. All the stupid shit that the dudes that I was dealing with in my younger days, you know what I'm saying? Where I said, Oh, I dealt with seven eight shit dudes. They were doing all this eight shit stuff. And I started to like realize I started seeing a, a recurring pattern over and over again of the same shit I kept seeing, right? So now I'm 35, 40 years old. I don't look as good. I'm older, but I'm expecting like top notch shit out of the men that I'm dealing with right because of the stuff i dealt with in my past so now it's like i'm still not taking accountability and i'm expecting more out of men that i'm dealing with at an age where i'm not even at my peak no more i think that, that that's i don't think that's the majority of women i think that you don't like, think so not the majority you think the majority of women hit 40 and still don't take accountability i think they take accountability but i think like i said like there's a portion of women i think that hit right. that age and they yeah. still don't take accountability they take accountability but i saying the accountability all right, all right, now I take accountability, but still my expectation of men is still super high. So I now, 
I'm taking accountability and my expectations not going down. So it's like I'm taking accountability and my expectations going up. So it's like now nah, I expect more because I'm taking accountability. It, it depends on the woman. Like women that like have the you know, blossoming careers and shit. I think that 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 yes, that makes sense. That they expect more or they expect a higher class of a guy because they're in a certain class. Because right, you so, know, because women don't date down. But this is the men date down. Thing. This is so, the fucked up thing about it with the guys though. Like right. So up? if you like, all right. You done dealt with all these ink shit dudes. They gave you nothing. Did nothing for you. Did shit for you. Uh-huh. Now you older and you dealing with a dude, but you got way more expectations for him than you had for them dudes that you were dealing with before. How's that fair to him? So now he got to jump through extra hoops to deal with an older chick that ain't in her prime, don't look as good as no, no more, but she still expect to get the same treatment that she did if she was in her 20s. I don't see that very often. You don't? Women that are in there for if, if you make it to 40 and you, you still that, if you make it to 40 and you I have no up, clue. Yeah, I don't know women that's up to, up in that age, but from what I've seen, like women that are still having issues taking accountability, are you are those you, kind of women will either date younger men that don't know no better. They they can't find nobody on they on their level, they gotta date younger you, men. That's what I've seen. You that you, is oh now I will give them that. That is what I've seen. I, I give I give what y'all say. Y'all, y'all gotta y'all gotta y'all gotta y'all, 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 y'all you, you kind of get what I'm saying though, like. I hope the audience get what I'm saying. Like, I'm saying that once you dealt with a lot, you expect more. So it's like you would think that your ex- expectations will mellow out, where it's like, well, I know what doesn't look right to me, right? And what a, what a circumstance with a man that, that ain't shit looks like to me. Mm-hmm. Why is it that I get people like, oh, you, can't, you get older, you get wise, and you, you expect more, you learn more, you're smarter now, you expect better things. So why is it that a dude, now that you're dealing with at 40 or 35, 38, whatever, and you older, like, why does he got to jump through hoops now to deal with you? So it's like, now he got to deal with extra bullshit that maybe the, the, uh, the dudes when you were younger wasn't dealing with. Why is it that he got to deal with extra bullshit when it comes to you? That's what I'm saying. I mean... Is that taking accountability or is that just being like, well, I'm older now, so I, no, I, I think, yeah, I think that's more about expectations and being delusional. Uh, I don't really okay. think that's about accountability. We could talk about that another time, to be completely honest, because yeah. that's the conversation that we can actually have. Um, but um, to get back to the whole accountability thing, like, I think now, that I thought that was in terms of kind of accountability because it's still you're still not realizing that you're still not realizing that you're not looking at the situation the way you should, you're still not taking accountability on like. Or maybe I'm. Eh, yeah, it, it seems right. like you're asking you're more right. of a question in reference to the guy because you're like, yeah, why does this guy have to jump through extra hoops? You're not really asking a question in reference to the accountability. Yeah, she's not being accountable in some ways, but you're not really asking a question about it. Okay, I'm not really asking a question to her, but I'm saying like, uh, has she, like if she's doing that, has she taken the step to be accountable? If she's in that mind frame of like, I'm older now, I should expect more out of guys. I should, I should expect. I, if I'm with a guy, I should make him go through the hoops that I didn't make the other guys that I dealt with go through. Is that her taking accountability? I think that's her being delusional and expecting more than she deserves. I don't really okay. think that. I mean, yeah, there's there's accountability in that that she needs to be. That there's things in that that she needs to be accountable for. But that specifically, expecting a guy to jump through hoops with you being older and not as attractive and not as desirable as some of these younger women. I think that's just delusional. I mean, because okay. all the guy got to do is go find somebody that's younger. Right. It's not like he got to. It's not like he got to deal with you. Right. So yeah, that that's yeah, that's more of a like why are older women or some older women so delusion delusional, but it's a whole other conversation. Let's yeah, not yeah. let's not fucking open no can of worms when yeah. it comes to that. Uh, Dizzy, is there anything that you? <laughs> he ain't have? saying shit this whole time, bro. The reason I ain't said shit because I have no clue how to answer this question besides the basics. Right. They don't they don't want to be wrong and nobody wants wants to look in the mirror, face the man in the mirror. God damn it. I gotta put And it's hard and I say it's harder for them than it is for us. Yeah. That's uh, lit- I have I, I don't have no no elaborate breakdown of that anything. That's just it, it is what it is statement for me. Okay. And uh, I think that it's because of, I think that guys are better at taking accountability because we've had to growing up. For it. Yeah. In order to get the woman that we want, we have to take, we have to be accountable. 
Because if not, then you're just going to stay a broke motherfucker that ain't shit. And you ain't going to get nothing that you actually want. But, you know, if you obviously take accountability, you, you know, you go to work, grind it out, make you some money, and you out here looking good and smelling good and doing what everything, you, everything that you need to do, then guess what? You overcame that problem. You took accountability and you made yourself better. Now, women in these situations, like you said, now, like you said, Steve, a woman that constantly keeps fucking with re- like dummies and saying it's, it's they fault. It's, the, it's they fault that, you know, they ain't shit. When the only person in this com- only, only person in this situation, that's the common denominator is you. So clearly you is a fucking problem in some shape, form or fashion. You just don't want to admit it. Right. And I ain't got the patience to listen. So guess what? Go find another dummy to deal with. Right. So that's kind of the verdict on this one. Until you know, we could, we could have a more in depth conversation right. with some ladies eventually, you know, and have them on the show and all that good stuff. But yeah, let's go ahead and move on. Doubt.